Liverpool Football Club has called for an investigation. They were firing tear gas into an area where there were Liverpool supporters, 20,000 Liverpool supporters who were waiting patiently. It's a mess here, there's no security. There's not enough security here either. They actually decided to throw tear gas on, on um, fans, on families and things like that. They've delayed people 15 yeah, yeah, minutes. It's not been well organised. Champions League final is the biggest game in football. It ends the season with one club in absolute tears and the other crowned a champion of a whole continent. Since 2020, it was practically a write-off year through restrictions, no one allowed to go outside. When football returned and everybody was allowed to go back into the stadiums, there was an extra bit of hype involved. This year's Champions League final was meant to be held in St. Petersburg at a stadium called the Gazprom Arena, a properly built ground with the correct facilities outside the ground to guide people into the right area and enjoy the final. It's a city I've actually been to for the Russia World Cup 2018 and Zenit versus Krasnodar, which was in the stadium that was gonna hold the Champions League final. And I can tell you it would have been perfect because it has good control and it's just because of certain events that have happened over the last few months where the country with people at the top have decided to invade Ukraine and that made everything go off the plan and everything was ruined. Therefore, they took away the sponsor of Gazprom and the Champions League final was no longer going to be held there. 100% the correct decision. On 25th of February, 2022, UEFA announced that the Champions League final was going to be held at Stade de France, a stadium in the region just north of Paris in a place called Saint-Denis. The stadium is in Saint-Denis. Not in Paris. Trust me, you don't want to be in Saint-Denis. It's not the same as Paris. They had three months to prepare the best show the football season has seen. A pre-match show, everything. 82,000 fans were going to be in the ground, so that's bigger than your average stadium anyway. And they had a very limited amount of time to do so with the last-minute change around. Three months go by, we're in Paris for the Champions League final. The city is buzzing, and I went to the match, and I can tell you firsthand, from the moment I got off the coach to the stadium, I knew there'd be issues. Around me, there was an aura, a certain feeling. It just didn't feel right. A lot of local lads from that region of Saint Denis, which is known for its poverty, the stadium is right there. So when we got off, already I felt like someone was going to try pickpocket me. What just happened on the way in? Someone tried pickpocket me. The fan fell into me and used his weight to hit me and then went for my pocket. Luckily, I was holding my phone with the tickets on the UEFA app. It was such a bad feeling near the stadium. I had friends and YouTubers that were robbed off their wallets and I knew this would be an absolute catastrophe. Also, I was with PlayStation, so this was meant to be the perfect side to it. It's always gonna be a really good trip, but I can't even imagine what it was like for fans, you know, turning up to the stadium and having to see it all. So we were dropped off on the top right of the stadium at the Champions Club entrance, and as we were walking in, it was very rough. A lot of people without tickets, just trying to take people's phones to use their tickets to get into the stadium. Like I said, all tickets were on the UEFA app. I spent two hours at the Champions Club entrance, and then there was a second ticket check at all the gates around to get into the stadium, the final part, all for good. We had to go through the gate letter on our ticket. I tried to go through another gate that had less people around, but they wouldn't let you enter the stadium. This is where the problems and crushes occurred. Where the Liverpool fans were entering the stadium, there were local lads from Saint Denis trying to break through without a ticket. They got through the first check, I don't even know how, and they were entering on the Liverpool side. So there was more people going into that stadium than there were actually tickets sold. So that was a crush. They weren't expecting that. The queues had more people in there than there was meant to be. The Liverpool fans were being forced onto this wall where the gates weren't even allowing people to enter because the ticket system turned down when so many people were breaking through without an official ticket. So this was when UEFA were notified and they had to delay kickoff by 15 minutes, which then turned into half an hour. And the match only ever started at 9.36. I didn't even enter the ground at 9 p.m. personally. I was waiting at 40 minutes before for gate checks. There were Liverpool fans waiting two to three hours trying to get into the stadium on the two checks. It was absolutely bonkers. I was at gate H, which was more of a middle section, so I didn't see this firsthand. But you can see videos online. The French police, when they saw these crushes, they decided to get pretty heavy-handed on the English, and they got the tear gas out. And they were simply spraying innocent kids and fans that had done nothing wrong, even ones with tickets to the ground who were in a crush due to the locals who were just trying to break in and watch the game. It was awful, the events that went down. And I've seen it firsthand at Marseille Feyenoord a few weeks ago where the French police tear gassed me and other innocent Marseille fans right outside the stadium just because the Feyenoord fans were coming from another section and they didn't want to see the two come together. And I can tell you firsthand, right, I didn't get it first level. I was a little bit away from it, but I was outside when the police tear gassed 
it absolutely kills your nasal system. If you rub your eyes, it gets worse. The experience these Liverpool fans must have had, and by the way, they probably spent thousands of pounds. Them and the Real Madrid fans spent thousands to get to that match in itself. And they're having the worst experience of their life. They're getting tear gas and they're not even entering the stadium on time. So the way the French police held this, personally, was an absolute disgrace. The same thing happened at the Euros final at Wembley. And this was part of the reason the Champions League final didn't go to Wembley because they didn't want the same problem. I think the Paris final was worse. And I was at both games because what was different was the police held it wrong. They actually had to delay kickoff. The Euros final was not as bad as Paris. I've spoken to many Liverpool fans who won't step foot in Paris again and for sure won't go to Stade de France because of their events that they saw in front of their own eyes, especially the poor innocent kids. It was meant to be the biggest day of their lives. Overall, I think UEFA had a lack of time to create an event of this magnitude. I mean, three months to pick the biggest game of football. Part of the event was really good. The football, uh, pre-match, all of that stuff, I liked it. But it wasn't enough time, and I think they made the wrong decision in picking Stade de France to hold the Champions League final. At the Gazprom Arena, they would have had everything in place. But it was such a small area where you're dropped off, or you get off the metro, and you get to the stadium, and everyone's in a certain place, because it's very close in. And that was the issue. There were too many people there trying to rob and trying to sneak everything. The Stade de France picking was the wrong wrong decision. It's the facilities around the ground that they needed to control to ensure the only people that get near the ground are ones with a ticket and are going to the football match. And I believe they should reconsider their options for next year to ensure this doesn't happen again. The final is going to be held at Ataturk Stadium in Istanbul. And I can tell you right now, if they don't make serious changes and debunk the problems that we've seen at the Euros final, the Champions League final, we're going to see another event where many locals will be trying to break in, many fans without tickets kids are again trying to run the doors and this will cause even more issues and the biggest game of football of the season will be another catastrophic failure. Thank you for watching and comment down below what needs to change to ensure the biggest game in football is looked after for the fans because at the end of the day it's the fans that make this sport and keep it going. Like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.